We're bringing in on video chat this morning from the southern United States, the next Ryder Hall of Famer, the great Kerry Joseph joining us this morning. How are you doing, KJ? I'm doing good. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, these two guys, big reason why you're in the Hall of Fame, wouldn't you say? Mike Abumashrik and, and Andrew Green. As you get ready for the plaza, I'm sure you'd agree, Kerry, it's a team, uh, a team induction for guys that go into halls, halls of Fame. It is. It's truly a team induction. You know, those two guys sitting right there kept me standing upright. So I'm truly grateful for them. And uh, I can't wait to see those guys in the, uh, next week. And it's truly a blessing to be uh, to be going into the plaza. But I'm so grateful for the guys that I had around me because without them, it wouldn't be possible. I'm sure these guys have questions for you. Well said. I'll fire. Yeah, well said, Drew. Just <laughs> um, when you got the call to the hall, Kerry, I'm sure you're just grinning like crazy. What, what was that like? You know what? It was special. Uh, I was actually, when I got the call, I was actually in a job interview, interviewing for a receiver job. And uh, after I got back in the car, me and my wife, I checked my voicemail and I made, I returned the phone call. And when we heard it, my wife actually threw the phone up in the air and we both actually kind of shed some tears and joy. And it was just, uh, it was just awesome to when I found out about it. There's a lot of things that come to my mind when I think of you, but one is that turf at Skydome, Rogers Center, 2007, when you had tears flooding down your cheeks that day too. Same as Darian, 2013 here. What was going through your mind that you were so overcome with emotion after that game? You know, as a player, you dedicate yourself so, to the game so much and you want to be you, you want to be so you want to be one of the greats to do it and you put the time and the effort in and when you can finally get it done to win a championship i mean your your emotions just come out and that was just one of those moments that i've been through so much i've uh, played multiple positions and to finally be able to hoist that trophy up and not only just for me for my teammates you know to be able to, to i mean we grind every day and you know i, I got to Saskatchewan in 2006 uh, just the guys, the fellas, the camaraderie that we have built. Uh, your, your emotions just come out. You know, you play the game to win, and you know it's hard to get to that point. So when you get there, you just, you just. I'm just a person that my, you know, I wear my emotions on my sleeve, and they just came out after that victory. What do you guys got for KJ? Yeah, I got, I got lots. Uh, you know, that's my dude, man. I'm gonna be, I tell my my kids are gonna hear stories, hear stories about Kerry Joseph. They're gonna think you're 20 foot tall, and all that other thing. <laughs> Speaking of 20, but what? Uh, 245 pounds worth of Kerry Joseph. How about that first day in Ottawa? When, and you talk about the grind and how tough it was to get here. I remember the first day you showed up in the Ottawa locker room and they said, that's your new quarterback. And I'm looking around at this linebacker. And you were, what, <laughs> what 240 coming in there? What was your journey up no, until I, I, was about, I was about 230. I was about 230. <laughs> uh, you, know what? <laughs> you know, I just came from playing uh, safety with the Seattle Seahawks. And I actually had set out a year. I was coaching high school football. And uh, when I got a chance to come to Ottawa, you know, it was it was, it was was a dream for me to get back to playing a quarterback position. And when I walked in there and saw you guys, it was just like, you know, Eric Tillman said, take your time. It's going to take you a little bit of time to get back on your feet. And But for me, mentally, I didn't have a lot of time. I needed to do it now. So I came in with that mentality and that work ethic that, hey, we got to try to win and we got to try to win now. And I wanted to be the starting guy. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you know, I know a lot of people don't realize this, but uh, Kerry and I, we uh, we were together in Seattle, and he was uh, yeah. 240 as a safety in Seattle, right? And hey, I got I a problem with y'all. Gene, hey, we got to talk about that 240, both of you guys. <laughs> I would say 250 gonna, coming up there with that. We're going to take care of that when I, we're gonna take care of that when I get there. So I didn't mean to cut you off. 250. <laughs> hey, you're pushing 240 now. Yeah, no, 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 not quite. I'm trying to get there. I'm about 40 pounds away, but uh, <laughs> trying to get there. But, but yeah, uh, I just want to. I know, I know you're being celebrated for being a rider, but uh, I mean, the journey came in Ottawa, and uh, I'd gone by then, but uh, it, it really was a team. Actually, Tillman came in and talked to the offensive line because we were a tight knit group in Ottawa about about you, and 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 said this guy is the real deal. And uh, we just got to be patient. And I'll never forget that uh, that year we had. But I had gone by the time. Uh, but that quest for a thousand yards as a quarterback, I mean, your name's going to go down on that. In what was it, 2006, 2005? But 2005. Uh, we, 
I wanted that. We want Val, George, those boys wanted it as much as, uh, as anybody. Uh, maybe just talk about that, how hard it was to you get. You know what? That was, special. that was a special moment. You know, you never go in looking to, to accomplish just individual goals. Uh, but I, at that point, in that point in the season, uh, you know, with, with Coach Pow Pow uh, being fired before that game, uh, the guys up front, you know, Val, uh, those guys wanted me to get that record so badly. You know, I think I needed like 50 something yards in that last game to to make that quest. And uh, they really pushed coach to make sure I got that record. And it was a great celebration just for us at, overall as a team. And, you know, to go down, it's the third on in the third quarterback in CFL history to throw for over 4000 and rush for a thousand. I'm so grateful for those guys. So those men up front, because like I said, None of that could be done without the guys around me. Uh, you know, people. I can sit here and try to take all the credit if I wanted to, but I can't. And you know, you guys know that you guys have been around me. It's never been about KJ. It's been about us and and, and being good collectively. Well, well, you did that on a broken leg or something like that. The last five yards on a yeah, I said to my something. PCL. Yeah, I told so my PCL. There. It's yeah. not about. Yeah. So there, oh. about, we didn't bring him on to talk about Renegades memories. Uh, <sighs> Not teasing, of course, it's a record. Um, but KJ, the 2007 Grey Cup, I just want to ask you about that particular game. It's not going down in the hit. They're not showing it on ESPN Classics much. It wasn't a shootout the lights affair. Um, and you had an undermanned receiving group going into that game and a running back with a broken foot. And you guys pulled it off. What do you remember about that Sunday in Toronto in 2007? Hey, man, that sounds like a lot of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys have the ultimate one. Our quarterback was hurt. Hey, anyway. <laughs> Go ahead, Kerry. You know what? I, I ain't going to steal your thunder, big dog. It's all you. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, trust me. Sometimes things fall in your, things fall in your lap. You got to have some luck to win, too, now. That you do. Uh, but I remember that day, you know what, just going into that stadium, uh, just seeing a sea of green, the fans, mm -hmm. and just the energy that, that was in that stadium that Sunday afternoon. Uh, to be honest with you, I was I had too much hype. You know, I had to really settle myself down and, and try to get going because I didn't have one of my best games throwing the football. Uh, but I think as a team collectively going in there, Kent had us ready to roll. And we knew that it was going to take uh, all three phases to win that ball game. And you see defense defense played a big part, you know, with J.J. with those six, with those interceptions. Uh, it, it truly was a collective team victory for us. But I think things just kind of lined up for us, you know. And it's unfortunate that Winnipeg lost Kevin. But, uh, hey, you still got to play the game, baby. Hey, hey, you know what? You know, I'm going to talk about the, the other side of that coin as well, too. And that you mentioned, um, you know, not too many people get the other side of that. But um, like you said, you're walking, you know, um, you walk in there, you saw a sea of green, right? And then all y'all know that we, we, I played there for a long time, right? You know, and it hurt me to, you know, to. Andrew to, was on the Bombers, for those that don't uh, know that hey, afternoon. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we yeah, all know, yeah, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. everybody knows. Yeah. So continue. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, for me, it was like who I was facing, I'm going against all of my old boys. You know, like my old family. You know, I mean, Carrie. You know, everyone. You know, you know, you know, yeah, boo, you know, you know, it, you know, it, it, yeah, yeah. And exactly, yeah. actually, we we actually swapped spots, Boo and I, right? So, you know, that was, and so I, even at like, even in practice, I was like, I said, guys, I said, you guys don't realize that Saskatchewan is going to show up at this uh, at the stadium. So when you talk about a sea of green, and I'm talking, we could not hear nothing in the huddle. We were this close, right? This, <laughs> That close, couldn't hear nothing in the huddle, right? So you know, Saskatchewan showed up, you guys showed up, you guys balled, right? You know, um, and we all knew it was going to take everything to come to come out, and you guys are going to bring, you know, bring everything. And you know, and you know, we went out there and we fought a really, really good game, right? And you guys won. It was very emotional. It was definitely a very emotional game, right? You know, and and congrats to you, man. And yeah, everything you got, you deserve, bro. You know, I appreciate it. Uh, no, I had a promise to fulfill going into that game, and that promise was to Fred Perry. After we lost in 2006 in BC, I promised him, I said, we're going to come back, and we're going to go back, we're going to come back to Vancouver, and we're going to beat them, and we're going to go win the Grey Cup. That promise, I took that into the offseason, going before the 2007 season, mm. and just that whole year, I, I remember telling my teammate that we was going to get this done. And I had to be a man of my word and do everything I possibly could to, to, to help us get there. And at the end of the day, I remember looking at Fred and said, hey, 
I told you we were going to come and mm -hmm. come and get it done. And uh, just those memories right there that you share with your teammates, it's a it's a lifelong uh, memory. Kerry, um, if it's a secret, don't say it. But uh, you have you decided who's inducting you uh, next week at Plaza of Honor? And, you know, what are you looking forward to the most coming up here for that? Uh, I don't think I don't know if they they're putting it out there in the public or not. It's not a secret for me. Uh, I don't mind saying it. It's it's. I'm just gonna say it like this. I'll put this here. It's gonna be a former rider quarterback. Ooh, <laughs> I like it. That's he, good. Yeah, and he's a former he's a former rider quarterback and he's a former teammate. And I'm gonna leave it at that. All right, sounds good, Kerry. And I guess for those that won't be at Mosaic Stadium that night, can you give us an update on the life of Kerry Joseph right now? It looks like things are going great. Things are going great. Right now, I'm the running back coach at Southeastern Louisiana uh, University. Uh, it's like about an hour north of New Orleans. Uh, this is my first year here. I'm in my fourth year of coaching uh, college football uh, here in the, in the United States, and things are going well. I'm uh, just trying to you know, pass the knowledge and the, everything that I have. Uh, just give it to these young men and teaching them not only how to be good football players, but be good students and how to grow up to be a man. Well, you uh, certainly know the road to that. Kerry, thanks for the time today, and we'll see you when you get up here next week. Congratulations again. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you guys. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.